Hi Molly, it's Josh from Train Heroic, and I wanted to follow up from our conversation last week, um, hopefully to save you time as you're working with operators and support staff to better support them in between those times when they're actually physically with you, right? So hopefully you can send them away some, with some content or some rehabilitation plans. Um, and here's how I would do that, okay? So I'd go into your library on the left-hand side. This is the most kind of measured approach to do this, okay? And you're gonna simply create a program. Now, I would create a couple of very generic programs, right? So we're going to call this like an ankle program. And it's four weeks long, maybe three sessions per week. This is all you need. We don't need the access code, okay? And we're going to hit create program. Now, this is going to be just a blank template, okay? So importantly, maybe it's, hey, I want you to do the same thing every day for five days a week and or maybe even seven, right? And it's like a two-minute type commitment, but it's going to be four weeks long, right? So maybe we create a session. We're going to hit create session and basically what we're going to do here is we're going to add a block and blocks allow you to add exercises. So maybe there's some ankle mobility in here. Perhaps this is the movement, right? Maybe here, here it is, some rock, or some rock tape floss ankle, right? So then we're going to come and say, hey, I want you to do, you know, one set of this. I want you to do this for I don't know, 15 reps. And I don't exactly know what, what this is specifically, but it could be timed, right? Right, but let's just say that this is the whole the whole program. In fact, we're gonna have them do one other thing. We're gonna search ankle. We're gonna have you do a uh, banded ankle dorsal flexing. Okay, and same thing. I want you to do one set of 15 reps. Okay, so there's your two your two movements. Let's go back to the program. I'm simply gonna highlight this. Hit Control C to copy it, paste it. Let's just imagine they're gonna do the same thing five days a week. I'll even grab this whole week, paste it paste it and paste it, right? Maybe this is overly simple, you know, simple and things will be a little bit more complex. But that being said, I have a four week program. Here's my ankle stuff. Maybe I also have like an upper back program and a lower back program, right? But the beauty of that is if I work with somebody and I see them and I realize, you know what? I actually just need to simply add that program for them. I would just go to athletes and you have access to all the athletes, right? And so let's say it's Alan that needs it. I'd simply go to Alan's calendar I tell Alan after I met with him, hey, I'm gonna put this program on your calendar. It's gonna be four weeks and you're gonna start it today. Right? You'd simply in the top right, you'd add from your library, you go to programs, and I'm just gonna search for that ankle program. Right? And it's here, and I click on it, and I can decide when I want it to start for Alan, and it'll jump on his calendar. Right? So that's one way to do that really quickly. Now Alan has something for four weeks. Now another way to do that is almost just in real time with your phone. Okay, so I want to walk you through that workflow as well. So Molly, this is me just holding my phone in my hand, right? And this is on your account. And you'll notice in the top left, you've got your initials, right? This is your, your profile. Now let's imagine you're working with somebody. You can actually click here and you're going to have a list of everybody. So let's imagine that you're working with Mike or Wayne or you know, anybody else. We, talk, we talked about Alan, right? So but what if we're working with Alan, right? I'd actually be able to click on Alan and now I'm managing Alan's calendar. And so I can say, you know what, I'm actually going to add in something for Alan. Today on the 15th, I'm going to add an exercise. So you would just click add exercise. You'd search for that exercise, right? So maybe it's that ankle. Here's our rock, yeah, rock tape floss ankle. You select and you'd be able to add that. And so the beauty is in doing something like this, we're now giving Alan access to that just on his account. And you can do that really in real time. So that's, that's another way to do it. It's easier for sure for you um, in just that you're adding. It's a little bit less measured because it's not like something that exists and persists every day. But if you add that, that's something that he can do as well, right? So he can do that on a daily basis where if he has access to it, he can go back to it, look at the video, and then add that himself all the time as well. So anywho, th that from a workflow standpoint is how I would just extend your services a little bit, make you more accessible Hopefully you get more utilization through doing that and you're a little bit, uh, you're stressed less, um, you know, under the circumstances you're able to even set up programs, right? You can give them those entire things. So no way today to add like the whole program for Alan that day. That being said, you can absolutely add it to his calendar or do it from your, from your phone. Like, uh, you know, like we just kind of went over. So let me know which questions you have on that or anything else. And uh, we're staying about to support you. So thanks Molly.